G'day guys. Look, with the success and the final realization in WA that dingle dangles are a thing, I thought it was the prime time to show you how to properly rig a dingle dangle with the floating system. Now, lately I've seen a lot of people asking how to rig them and why to rig them, and there's been some questionable advice. And sure, I suppose there's gonna be a few people that are gonna say that my advice is also questionable. However, talking to the guys who use them the most in South Africa, this is how they recommend rigging them. What are you gonna need? Well, you're gonna need a dingle dangle like this. Now, this is a made dingle dangle that I've put on an owner circle. Oh, there, get off me. Um, this is just a bit of pool noodle on a homemade dingle dangle out of um, single strand wire because making them is bloody easy. You're gonna need your bait. In this case, I'm gonna be showing you how to rig a fillet of mullet and of course, latex bait cotton. This one here I think is the vexed something bait thread or something like that. First off what we want to do is we want to ensure that the back of the dingle dangle here is pretty much level with the back of your bait. Okay now the reason you want to do that is because you want that to be the most furthest part away from the hook that's going to connect onto your sinker or your sinker clip and allow you to cast that bait nice and straight because remember that's what a dingle dangle is all about. It's a, it's a release aid, if you wish, to allow that bait to fly beautiful and straight through the air. The other thing of a dingle dangle, and this is where I've seen a few people let, let themselves down, is the whole idea of the dingle dangle is to build the bait off the back of the hook to leave as much of this hook exposed as possible. And that's where I see, as I said, the most people let themselves down. The beauty with a dingle dangle, we can bolt this bait out as much as possible. But let me stop jabbering on and let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our mullet bait here. Okay, whichever you want. I usually find one mullet, two fillets, two baits. You're gonna to wanna to light rough, really roughly scale that mullet because it, it's less of a chance of obstructing the hook. Plus I've got a really strong skin as standard. We're then gonna line this fillet up. Now I like lining the tip of the tail up with the bottom of the hook because that's where I'm gonna be going from. And then from there, I'll chop my bait, so roughly around here. Okay, don't worry, we can use this later. I'm going to show you when. What I then like doing is getting my knife and running it just down the center of the bait there. So it does this. It butterflies it open. Now here's the trick. Here's how you rig a dingle dangle. You get the very tip of that bait and you put it through skin first. So the hook is going to go through the skin like that okay so you can see that bait there is just hanging off the hook now what we're going to do is we are just going to wrap the back of this bait around the dingle dangle like that there and encapsulate him that's where we start with the with the bait thread so away we go and take your time with this guys because presentation is still key but this is gonna make a really, really lovely bait. And remember, we've still got that other piece that we haven't yet used. You're not gonna wrap any of this bait cotton at all around the hook, at all. I'm just gonna quickly speed this up because you don't wanna just watch me wrapping baits. Okay, so there we have it. You can see we're starting to get a beautiful cylindrical bait and we've sandwiched that in. Now what we do, while the bait cotton's still attached, we're just going to get this piece here that we had left over, okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Straight down the centre but not through the skin. And we're going to wrap that around the dead centre of the dingle dangle. And what this is going to do, this is really going to bulk the bait out a, a, a lot, okay. I like going over that seam where the, um, where the, the join in the fillet was that's covering the foam. I'll show, I'll show you that in a bit in a minute. But once again, let me just get cottoning and I'll talk to you again in a minute. Okay, so here we go. Here's your bait. Hook nice and proud, hanging on just through that top bit. We will put a bit more maybe around the top to neaten up if we feel. But we have got an absolute lolly for any type of fish there. And as you can see, the bottom of that hook loop is hanging out the bottom. And guys, that is how I believe you rig the perfect dingle dangle for any any amount of big fish. As I said, we've used all the 
benefits of the dingle dangle there, which is having the hook as exposed as possible, having the casting loop as exposed as possible and the lowest point of our bait. And it's going to allow us to rocket, rocket bait so far into the gutters that we stand the best chance of the bigger fish. All right, guys, I hope that was somewhat helpful and we'll catch you on the next episode. See you later.